everybody, my name is Kristen and this is my channel, Kristen Alyssa, and I am back with another video, the most exciting one of them all of my Kristen's DAT Survival Guide series, Reading Comprehension. <laughs> I'm too high. Okay, so I know this is most people's least favorite section of the DAT. So with reading comprehension, it's kind of difficult to study on how to read, but that's what you need to do. You need to learn how to read these texts to the point where you have, a, you're picking up on the understanding, you're understanding it very easily, very quickly, and to where you can recall information and answer these questions that are presented to you. So first, let's talk about the resources that are available to you. The most key resource that is available to you and that you are literally using right now is the world wide web the internet like there's so many articles and reading stuff out there like you can read all day your entire life and never be done reading the internet okay but on a serious note you really want to start getting in the habit of reading things that are outside of your comfort zone because these articles aren't going to be like Timmy went to the store. He picked up two apples and three pears. What did Timmy pick up at the store? Girl, I wish. I wish. But the truth is, they're not like that because they're trying. We're trying to see what is your level of thinking. Can you, you know, think beyond just the surface level? Can you deduce things? Can you infer things? Can you comprehend things? Hence, reading comprehension. And so. I 10 out of 10, that's my favorite thing to say, 10 out of 10, recommend reading some scientific journals, like some articles. You don't have to read the entire article, just read like, you know, the first page or two. Like, read an article every day just to get your comprehension up. And where places where you can find articles are PubMed, as well as, you know, Nature Journal, and there's a ton of other scientific journals that I can't think of at the moment but they're out there and I'll leave some links down below to journals that you can you know, use to you know, just read random articles and learn a little something while you're at it. What this will do is again, you know, help you build up your comprehension and your speed at what you read. And you'd be surprised, it will help. It really, really does work. Next resource and last resource, you guessed it, DAT Bootcamp, <laughs> bang. <laughs> Um, DET Bootcamp, again, has like every subject you need for the DET, including reading comprehension, and they have very relevant articles. Honestly, you want to know a secret? I could swear that one of the articles that was on DET Bootcamp was on my DET. No joke. No joke. I was freaking out. I was like, no way. Yeah. So. When I tell you DAT Bootcamp is bae, I mean it. So it worked for me. So there's tons of different methods on how to study for reading comprehension or how to go about taking the reading comprehension exam. What I did personally was I would skim through the questions and then skim through the article and then answer the questions. What I gained by reading the questions first is I knew what I was looking for in the um, article. So it wasn't like I was just reading the article just like, oh, I'm just reading, you know, reading, reading, reading. No, <laughs> I am reading with a purpose. I'm looking for what the questions have asked. And so it made me speed up my time a lot more. And again, time, 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 time is the most probably crucial in reading comprehension. It's easiest to lose track time of because you're reading, you know? You're just like getting enveloped in the story, like, oh my gosh, what, did, what does this assay do? What does this, you know, protein do? Oh my goodness. And like, no, <laughs> you don't have time for that. We're taking the DAT, like the DAT. You have 20 minutes for each article and that sounds like a lot of time, but it's not, it's not. At least that's how I tried to pace myself, 20 minutes for each article. And sometimes I find myself rushing on the last article and it's the worst feeling in the world when you haven't read that, finished reading the article and you have to answer questions that you really don't know the answer to. Just a guessing game. Don't do that. Don't let that be you. 
practice tests, practice tests. Man, I'm telling you. So some other methods of re um, taking the reading comprehension portion is like search and destroy, where you just like read the article for what it is, then answer the questions and look for the ans look for the answers in the text. Just you know, search and destroy. Another method is like reading half of the article and then reading the questions and answering what you can based on the article part that you have read and you know searching and destroying for like one or two questions that were not in that part that you read already. You know, you can get creative, like try different methods, see what works for you. And if, if you guys have suggestions on ways that you know, you've been studying for reading comprehension, please leave it in the comments section below. You know, share the wisdom and you know, help each other out. Times are tough, studying alone is hard. Major key with reading comprehension, again, is timing. Pace yourself, do practice questions, I mean practice exams. And again, as with every video, make sure you review other subjects in that day. Don't just do reading comprehension one day. Rotate it, mix it up so you can stay on top of your game. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. And I hope you guys have a great time studying as much as you can. You know, take breaks, treat yourself, take a day off, like one day off once a week. And you know, do something fun, go outside. But best of luck studying. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.